Shalom Talmudim, this is Moshe, if you don't recognize me, without any hair. Uh, I've been bald for six weeks, I think, now, about, as a perpetual prayer for our beloved professor, J. Todd Billings, myself and several others, you, I'm sure, have heard about the Bald Guy Challenge. We all shaved our heads as an, an act of, not just solidarity, but but really as an act of prayer for his healing. And uh, the news so far has been good, for which we give thanks. What I'd like to do in this uh, short video is just offer some reflections about the, the ironic blessing that you're in the process of memorizing. Uh, I'll take it a, just a verse at a time, and... Uh, offer some reflections about, uh, in this verse, or excuse me, in this video, verse 24, the first verse in the blessing. It's not uh, without uh, significance or purpose or intention that the first word in the priestly blessing is the word blessing. Uh, and so we, we say, Yevarechecha Adonai Veyishmerecha. Yevarechecha. Uh, you, you'll notice, I'm sure, if you say this blessing in Hebrew during a worship service, say as the benediction, you'll notice that uh, I imagine people will come up with you and say, on the one hand, I'm sure they'll really appreciate it. Uh, there's something about hearing. Hebrew in a worship setting that uh, connects with people, uh, a deep hunger that they have for the word and to hear the word, but also a deep hunger to actually connect with the people uh, who, who fill the pages of scripture. And hearing it in Hebrew somehow, uh, I think, helps them feel that connection. Uh, but, in addition to that, they'll probably say, thanks for the blessing, Pastor. <laughs> uh, because the, the first word has these two coughs right in a row, so you just, yivarechecha, um, just full of, of saliva hawking. But, uh, this first word is, is just really, really significant. The, the Hebrew understanding of blessing. I may have talked about this before, I don't recall, but the, the Hebrew understanding of blessing is that of divine filling. So to say a blessing is not just to speak words that are powerful, uh, significant, meaningful, appropriate, uh, weighty, or fitting for a particular context. It, it is that. But more than that, liturgical blessing is understood as being a, a, a symbolic of or a, an, a liturgical expression of, of a divine filling of power. A dispensation of power. It's 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 uh, well the verb form here yevarechecha is it's adjussive, and adjussive is the third person subjunctive. And a subjunctive is uh, an expression of desire or or wish, uh, or you could say hope in a sense, uh, but it's often translated with the words may or let. So in uh, the Genesis 1 story, uh, Yehi Or, for those of you who translated that last semester, Yehi Or is a jussive, let there be light, which is different from there will be light. It's sort of, it's an expression of, of uh, the desire for something to happen. And when God speaks a jussive, the, the invocation, the expression of God's desire for something to happen is uh, the, 
the manifestation of that thing that God desires to have happen, happening. Let there be light, and there was light. Yehi or, vayehi or. And so here, yevarechecha is in the jasiv. May the Lord bless you. Or, uh, yeah, may the Lord bless you is better than let the Lord bless you. Uh, may the Lord bless you captures that, that subjunctive meaning a little bit more forcefully. And so uh, these are words that the priests would say to the people uh, at the close of a service, not unlike our benediction today. And so the words, the words here are so important. Yevarechecha, may the Lord bless you, is, is not just uh, may the Lord help you to feel good, may the Lord uh, help you make it through the week. May the Lord help you uh, be honest on your taxes, or speak with love to your children, or uh, help your neighbor out in a pinch. But rather, is saying, may the Lord fill you with power to enable you to fulfill the tasks for which you have been called in this world. Uh, and so the priest here is a, a, a medium or a vehicle through which God's Spirit flows, a channel, if you will, a channel through which God's Spirit flows and it is distributed or dispensed or sprayed out on the people with, with the priest's upraised hands. And so the people are now filled with God's power to go out and live into their God-given callings. So it's, it's a part of uh, their equipping, and it's a part of their empowering, it's a part of their living into their identity as Christians, as God's people. And so the idea of a blessing here is, is, uh, is a little bit different, I think, than what we think of a blessing. Which, uh, I'm not sure what we think of. Maybe we think of uh, material blessings, uh, resources, wealth. And certainly there is uh, a strand of that in Scripture, of course. That, that blessing is understood to have material consequences. However, fundamentally, blessing is a setting, uh, well, the result of a blessing is a kind of setting apart, setting aside, because one has been filled with power to fulfill a task. Uh, 